I have much to attend to. Who dares to disturb me? Greetings. It was Eunuch Jiang who spread the dubious elixir across the land, was it not? It seems you cannot talk your way out of conviction this time. <clears throat> so you have already thrown away your humanity. Have you no respect for your superiors, Cao Cao? To sneak into my manor and disturb my work. In return for your discourtesy, I shall just have to make do with your chin. You... You are... What... What is the meaning of... Wait... It just waits... What is it you desire? You riches... Treasure... Women... Oh... I know... The elixir, yes? I'll give you half of all of it! <laughs> <laughs> With all this, I can finally forge an empire to last a thousand years. <clears throat> Looks like someone got here before us. This will bring forth a new wave of chaos on the land. If this is what has been destined, so be it. I shall just have to fight tooth and nail until the flames of chaos are quelled. I shall not allow my status as a mere advisor to hold me back any longer. The House of Han is on its knees. It no longer has the power to unite the nation. That is why... I, Xiao Chao, shall bring down the evils of old and bring peace and prosperity to the land. What is needed now is a tactical mind unimpeded by morality. If you wish for an ally to walk beside you through the ravages of war, simply call upon this unscrupulous hero. For like Ju Chue, we shall soar through the sky engulfed in righteous fire! upon us. I must leave the capital and begin preparations. Mengdu, we are always at your service. Looks like it's finally time for our men to get to work. The secret of the elixir's whereabouts was taken by Zhang Rong with him to his grave. Elsewhere, Dong Zhou, a man whose ambition outweighs his conscience, brought the capital to its knees by force. Both Yuan Shao and Cao Cao suspected him to be connected to the elixir and forged a plan to bring him down. 
These two great eminences lit the way and drew many together. They amassed a colossal force comprised of 18 separate armies to stand against Dong Zhuo. Tenacious courage of the Swens. Ben Chu, victory is within our grasp. Hmm. Men, the time has come to make Dong Zhuo pay for his tyranny. All units attack! Yeah! <clears throat> hmm? I remember your face. Uh huh? Hmm? May glory find you once more on the battlefield today. <clears throat> Our foes are strong as well. Hmm. Hmm. You said your name was Hong Jin. Can I ask you to attend to the wounded? <laughs> you propose I flee? To me will fort with the elixir. My lord, I, Lu Bu, will hold the enemy back and buy you the time you need. You do that, Lu Bu. has been sent to Meiwu Fort. <laughs> Liu Bu has escaped! Rush to Luoyang! <laughs> Drawn to Meiwu Fort. Our capital of 200 years. My men and I are going after Dong Zhou, even if it's only us. You'll have to count me out on this one. Something urgent has come up. Wait a moment! Some of us must stay and help the people! Please, allow Jen to ask the same, my lord. The only one who can set this situation right.
is you, my warrior. Thank you very much. Lord Yuan Shao is sure to be pleased as well. <sighs> the night will burn bright when a hero steps forward to quell the world's chaos. As one whose only strength is in contemplating the charts of the sky, all that I can do is offer you my interpretations of the stars, bestowing you some insight of what will come. Place me by your side, that I may ensure you do not stray from the path the stars have illuminated for you. I pray that the stars will offer you their clear guidance in this dark time. Thanks to you, the capital is safe. Now, let us get back to the others. The coalition has split right in half. It has become meaningless. In the end, people will prioritize their own desires. Friendship and the like are not to be trusted in. <gasps> Pitiful sight. Master. Now it's the south. A veil of demonic chi has descended upon Xiangyang. But the elixir remains a pressing concern. Hong Jing and I will take care of Dong Zhou. Leaving you to head to Xiangyang if you're willing. Da Chow, your dear stepfather. He does so love his daughter, does he not? <laughs> oh. General Soon is heading into the capital. Uh, what is the meaning of this? Perhaps something has happened. I did see father talking to a strange Taoist in the capital. Damn it, father. He's hiding something. We must hurry after him. <clears throat> no? Yes, brother. You're the one who was at Hulao Guan Pass. I've heard tales of you. I am Swen Chuan, the younger son of Swen Jian. Listen, something troubling is afoot. This is an ill omen. Could father have come to harm? Don't talk nonsense! 
A tiger is not so simply hunted. Right? Father? <laughs> well, Tiger Sunshine, care to join me now? Tempt me all you may. I will not join forces with evil. Let Dacho go! <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? General Sun! General Sun, he's... <sighs> Father... Is that you? Is what happens to those who disobey me. <laughs> Take heed for when the time comes for you to answer. You bastard! <laughs> Get back here! Curses! Our father restrained us from completely losing ourselves to bloodlust. And then, in sacrificing his life, he set an example for all Swen descendants to follow. Our bloodline is not to give succor to the evildoers. We are to strengthen ourselves, and one day, bring order to this land. Your claws are not those of the tiger like ours. However, we want you present as we set off. And sail towards a bright future, as kings overseeing an era of prosperity for all. With our ship's helm adorned by that liar Taoist's severed head. has been elsewhere. You have surpassed me. Both of you. Grow strong and take care of your men. As commanders, you must be calm and collected. And Bofu, you are just like me. Always reckless. <laughs> <laughs> that man... He must be stopped. Dad! Father! <laughs> <laughs> It's Hong Jin. She's infiltrated Dong Zhu's forces alone. Would you go with me to Mei Wu Fort?
Wonderful display. Tell me your name. Huh. Diao Chan. up my entertainment. In that case, I shall just have to improvise. With your dying screams! It has played on my mind ever since I saw you at Hulaguan Pass. But how could I forget how bravely you always held yourself? So, brother, why? Why do you stand with Dong Zhuo? You mistake me for another. Uh, hmm? Lu Bu! Uh, an assassin! Your tongue with perfect timing. You shall make a fine soldier. How dare you? You would betray me. Very well. The elixir is yours. Lubu. Go before things get out of hand. Brother! Don't worry about me. Zhong Liao, take her away. Time to leave. Please, wait! <sighs> What will he do with the elixir? I simply follow General Lu's orders. Please, this way. <sighs> Thank you. You saved me yet again. I had to make sure. But at last I'm convinced. <sighs> he was the person I always wanted to be like. To catch up to. And then he left without a farewell. I need to know why he set his sights on the elixir. Otherwise, I'll never be able to get things back to normal. Seeing you fearlessly face up to the demonic tea has given me determination. It may take force to get the truth out of him. But there's no one he would tell other than me. I 
I will never give up. For when it comes to being stubborn, even my brother cannot best me. <clears throat> to think he survived. I... I hope the day will come when we can train together once more. <laughs>